Hi Cancer, this is your January 2018 Oracle Forecast and we're going to get straight into it. So remember from, if you look at the year ahead reading, we ended into this year with the House of Rebit, which means that you already set, you already are setting that, that tone of renewal, of refreshing, reviving, especially where it concerns that that shared resources, your energy, the energy you share with others around connections, the close connections in your life, partnerships, relationships, that sort of thing. This is things like marriage and all of that. All of this is setting the tone for 2018. So you're entering into this January with this team in mind, looking at your shared resources, how you share your energy with others, a renewal of your energy. You're into that time of going deep beneath the surface and and taking out all that that you know the good the good stuff and bringing it forward and letting all the the heaviness melt away now going into january what i have for you the other card that i got for you is the house of home which means that there's going to be a focus in renewal this is setting a foundation, right, for January, entering into the year. There's going to be a focus of transformation, particularly around your home, your family, your place of birth, your identity, your nest, the space that you create for yourself, the sense of belonging that you feel with the people around you, that, that close relationship between... Uh, your parents, so your, your mother, mother especially, relationship in terms of nurturing, how you feel nurtured. And cancer, this is a very, very important team for you, this, this team of nurturing, because you can do that very well, and you do that so well for others, so... This is a month where you look at, can look really closely and, and bring that to fore. How you knit your, your own dreams. How you just give yourself that feeling of home. How you, how you create home in your space. And it's a great way to start the new year. In, in feeling that, that warmth, that sense of belonging that you create for others, that, you know, you do that. So you, you start that of renewing your own sense of home and looking closely at that. Where is it that, that you feel at home? And what is it that you can bring to your space that will, that will remind you of, of that? that feeling and and so there's also genetics family security so the sense of security you feel where you are what is it that makes you feel safe so you're gonna be renewing or looking closely at those things this month at, at your your environment the, the surroundings so you feel safe what do you need to do to to make that uh, homey, more, more homey and comfortable for you so that you can, you know, set, set up your nest. And even if you're not setting up a nest, you, you, you can have a temporary, a transitional nest. So even in, in, the, in the meantime, right? So now, what the card for what you need, and this is Capricorn. So this this is the attribute that you can you can bring to play this month more, 
and remember each of the signs has has a specific quality and you can bring even though you're a cancer you can bring different qualities into you because we're multidimensional beings but and this card is capricorn so it says being patient patient with others ambitious meaning that you're setting your your standards you're, you're setting your standards capricorn is good at knowing its boundaries its standards it's patient as well if others don't meet up to their standards it's not going to force force it to happen it's, it will let the the right so you set up your nest and the right the right uh, components the right people characters will come to help warm it like a like a housewarming party almost uh, that you can think about so capricorn is that the patient being patient to know that you are laying a great foundation here and it will happen you don't have to force it you just have to know where you stand like really set your boundaries make your boundaries clear and especially that you're entering with the house of rebirth you will want to to look to make sure that you don't bring back from the past which you no longer want to to maintain in the in right now in the present in the future you don't want to you probably have worked on boundaries here in the past and you want to keep maintaining this and especially around the safety how you feel safe how you feel protected how you feel the family the sense of family people that is equal family with so maintain that the Capricorn way, so it's the grounded Capricorn who's looking at things strategically and just, you know, not really, not really getting caught up in, in, you know, too much of, de of debt on details, just, just being patient and keeping your eyes on your goals, which is the boundaries and, and the, the, the layout of, of your home you know like if you had to had to draw a blueprint map of what you what your house or your environment will look like what would it what would it look like right and then where like who's allowed to enter things like that and who's allowed to sit in the limits so Capricorn remembers those things and keeps track of those things. Capricorns are, are friendly, but they they have uh, they have boundaries and they they are known to be focused on on goals, be very goal oriented. So that's what you, you keep in mind. You keep in mind the the picture, the goals that you want to achieve when it comes to your home, your your environment, your, your family, the family you would like to have around you. So keep that in mind, keep your goals keep your goals strong and be patient because your renewal, you are setting this on renewal. Your re, there's a rebate happening. So it is a show of you. Now when it when I check the soul purpose alignment oracle which which helps you align at the level of the chakras but also with what to, uh, what specific focus so this again is a mental focus this is a problem solver the scientist um it's a mental oriented so your focus is more on strategy it says strategy on the intellect on problem solving on keeping focus so it's, it's a picture of a scientist and the scientist is really focused on on if you're doing an experiment you're focused on 
a certain hypothesis and you're focused on different you know assessing different outcomes so you're looking you're looking at things objectively not taking it too personally which is again what Capricorn is here to remind you about about staying grounded not taking things personally as as you're as you're working through your goals and setting your boundaries not taking things personally when people react how they would react to to your boundaries right because that's people when you change you also elicit a different reaction from from the certain people around you and you will see you will get uh, indicators of where they stand with you by how how they react to the things uh, to the things that that you that you're doing to the changes that you make and from that you will know who is in your home who who makes up your your, your new home who you can you can call family who you can share your you know just feel free to be yourself so have a great january cancer and if you'd like a more personalized reading forecast with me or want guidance from these oracle cut through the oracle cards and an intuitive guidance feel free to book in a session with me as a session and again happy new year happy january have a great one cancer